Okay, for number 63, I certainly didn't get a whiteboard to do it. I realize there's work done over here, and I want to point out in the work, um, I also give you variations of how to do the problem. It's up to you how you want to do that. Don't believe one way is better than the other. And some of us say, well, my teacher told me this, my teacher told me that. You try to develop a, a system that you can handle, all right? So what I want to do is I want to um, go to the whiteboard, all right? Let me see if I can do that. I got one over here. And certainly, we're doing problem number 63. And what I know is I know they want the uh, they want me to find a slope of the line tangent to the polar curve R equals cosine of theta at the point where theta equals pi over 6. So what I need to do is I need to find out um, dy dx. Before I do that, I want to remind you something. I want to remind you that x equals R cosine theta. And I want to remind you that R, y equals r sine theta. Now, of course, I know what r is. What's r? R is this thing. So what's if that? That's going to be x equals r, which is cosine theta, times cosine theta. All right, that's pretty simple. That's just simply cosine squared theta. Now, let me write this one over here. And again, it's y. And what's y? Well, it's r. What's r? It's cosine theta times sine theta. I'm going to write this a little differently, though. I'm going to write it as, let's see, let me remind you this over here, that the cosine of 2 theta is 2 sine theta cosine. Whoops, I made a mistake there. Let's erase that. So sine of 2 theta is 2 sine theta cosine theta. So I'm going to write this as 1 half cosine. I did it again. 1 half sine 2 theta. What am I looking at? I'm looking at this over here, dividing both sides by 2. Sine theta cosine theta is a half of sine 2 theta. All right? Now, someone says that, wh why would you have done this? Uh, for a couple of reasons. One is I can write a derivative down pretty easily now without remem remembering a formula or deriving the formula. So I want to write down, you know, dy dx. And what's that going to equal? Well, that's going to be, let's see, it's going to be dy d theta over dx d theta. Let me write this one down for you. I think it's going to be pretty easy to do. dy d theta, well, it's going to be 1 half cosine 2 theta times 2. That's done. Let me go to the bottom, and i got to do that guy's derivative. And that guy's derivative, whoa. It's going to be 2 cosine theta minus sine theta. Wow. What do you get over there? You get cosine 2 theta on top. That's not so bad. And on bottom, I'm starting to recognize this as the sine of 2 theta. But there is a minus sign there. Again, this is what dy dx is in terms of theta, which is what I wanted, because I want to get the slope at a given theta. So I want dy dx when the theta is equal to pi over 6. And that's in the words of the problem, by the way. Before I do that, though, I'm starting to realize that this can be simplified. And I'm going to write it a little bit differently. I'm going to write it as minus, I don't know, cotangent of 2 theta. All right? Now, just to give you, an, I have to evaluate this, by the way. And to do that, it's really minus cotangent. And that would be pi over 3. Because 2 times pi over 6 is pi over 3. Just to remind you, pi over 3, that's going to be 180 degrees over pi. And that would be 60 degrees. So really, I'm looking at you know a 60-degree triangle over here. And before I do that, I want to put that as minus 1 over the tangent of pi over 3. And again, I want to do that computation for you. And what do you get there? Well, this would be root 3. This would be 1. That would be 2. So that would be, well, what is that? What's the tangent of pi over 3? It's going to be root 3. What do you get over here? Minus 1 over root 3. All right? What I recommend you do, look at the k. 
and make sure this is being reported as a slope there. And I do see that. I do see that. By the way, I see a lot of work. Some of the work may confuse you. It depends on what your teachers are doing, how your teachers are doing it. And, uh, and I always say whatever works for you. Now, you did drift the way I did in the notes. Um, I did do this in the notes, by the way, but I did an alternative method. Um, whatever works. Thank you.